Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Pi UVM video series. Today we are going to start our lecture number seven. Previously we have done all our uh, things that are regarding to the basic concept of verification. Uh, TV test match in which we create fixed number generator, random number generator, and we are learn how to log the data and we get different functions and last video we understand the concept of golden model and also today we are going to implement two different functions and first of the function is comparison function and second function is scoreboard in the scoreboard we will understand what is scoreboard and then we will go for implementation so first we start the comparison function uh, with basic understanding and implementation so let's move to the implementation and So we open our previous file of full header Coco TV test bench in which we create the golden model. As you can see, so today we are going to implementation of another function that is comparison. The question is why right, is what we what we need to create a different function like comparison and what was the concept of creating this function is that if we <clears throat> get the answer from the golden model and also from the RTL, so why we go for manual testing and every time we check uh, manually give in which RTL result is same as golden model. So why we cannot use Python coding and create different function to uh, compare, uh, compare, compare both answers. That if both answer is equal to generate the answer to me is true, and otherwise if the both answers is golden model answer is different from the RTL answer, <coughs> to generate the status false. So that's why we create this function, in which we get help to automatically uh, compare the answers of both the functions. In which first we create the uh, Comment. Uh, yeah, we define the logic of comparison. First of all, uh, we use if else condition, in which we say if you know the our article is uh, same throughout the, all the video series uh, the article is regarding full adder that we are going to verify through coco tv tangible so here is also the full adder article so we know the answers are uh, uh, some and c out so we know that uh, golden model sum equal to equal to r sum and we know the another answer of RTL is C out. And we compare that golden model C out is equal to equal to RTL C out. If this condition is true, so we need to generate the answer that status equal to true. And for time being, we print that answer to display the comparison result. If the both conditions are not true, if golden sum uh, golden sum is not equal to R sum, if this uh, if condition is not work, then we use else condition <clears throat> in which we generate the answer of false
and we print the status. So as you see that, uh, okay, we here we use if else condition in which we define that okay, sum of both RTL and Gordon model is equal to those. So generate true, otherwise you generate false and in the same condition i also use and and means if one of the both are true if this condition also true some and this condition also true then it will uh, work if one of the condition is not true means that uh, golden model sum is not equal to r sum and g c out and r c out golden model c out and r rtl c out is true but it is not work because uh, there we use and and with both one and one is true to answer will be one so in which this both the condition will prove that it will generate answer true otherwise it will generate false here you see that uh, we define g sum r sum so how we provide that golden sum value and uh, rtl sum value here so here uh, last time we also declared the functions uh, in which we provide the arguments. So here also we provide the arguments in which we provide the golden model sum, RTL sum, uh, golden model C out, and RTL C out. So we need to call this function in the decorator and we learn the last video how we call the function and provide the values in the in any function where there is argument in this in the function so here we call comparison function and provide the values Here we cannot write the and call the comparison function because we need also the RTL result. So when we, we get the RTL result, after that we can provide the uh, answer to and the values to the comparison function. So here we define comparison function. Here we call comparison. Function and provide the value of golden model sum RTL sum and then golden model C out and RTL C out As you previously, I told in the videos that in the order here we define in the order that first we get the golden model sum. So in the order we provide first uh, variable golden model sum to the argument of function g sum, and after that we provide RTL sum. So that I declare the sums in the function to get RTL sum. So in the order I provide in these variables to the functions. <clears throat> so after that, uh, we know that uh, we provide for loop in which we run 10 times random numbers that goes to RTL and same to golden model as we previously show in the videos and in which we provide golden model and to article to the same values and then we get the answer to print that values so after that uh, we can run the test and check how our operation done here we write mac
as you can see the our attachment will be passed and we can see that uh, in golden model input is provided zero golden model input we use zero one zero and in input one input three is zero one zero and fs sum and fs the output of full adder the article that provide the answer is one zero and golden model that also provide the answer one zero is provided true but it says that it uh, it is not in the predefined order that after all the operation we need to check the result but due to the coding syntax that provide uh, answer first in display provide the answer in display first after that because uh, the print command is you can see the comparison print command is show here so that's why print this command is working first uh, previously from this print command if i want to see the print command in hierarchy so i check here it can work Uh, you can see that uh, now our answer will be in the predefined order. As you can see in the order model, uh, first our render numbers are provided 0, 1, 1, 1. And to the same, the values are goes to the RTL is 0, 1, 1. And it provides the answer RTL is 0, 1. And golden model also provides the same answer 0, 1. And it says those the answer true. How it is a benefit to us that you can see up now every time I don't go for manual checking with it, what will the answer is true or false is what the answer is not same or correct. Now it will provide me the answer. So I only see the answer true. This is true, true, true. And you can see all the answer is true. If for just uh, checking that if it is provide answer false or not because uh, i noted that this rtl is correctly working uh, last time uh, i showed it in the video so here i changed some things in the rtl to check it is working properly or not in the sum i removed that line and unfortunately when we designed the uh, rtl of any modules uh, such as full adder decoder uh, yeah some architecture and i in mistakenly i don't define in full adder scene and there is a mistake when we working so verification is the best to check our rtl design so that's why we go for verification so suppose that i uh, don't define scene when i write the code of full adder so now i go for verification Google TV and check there is any problem in my RTL or not and ensure that our golden model is 100% correct because we here we also define uh, read view by ourselves golden model but in the industry in where we go to in high level verification we don't make golden model we use the predefined golden model of different architectures families in the framework so just understanding concept that's why we created the golden model as we as i told in the previous videos so check now yes you can see is our golden model when we provide random numbers and we see, we can see that 101 we provide to the golden model and same to the rtl 101 and it provide the whole adder rtl answer is 11 and as you can see, golden model answer is provide the correct answer. That is 0, 1. As you can see also in the uh, table. Uh, there is a logic table. As you can see, when we provide 1, 0, 1. And we got the answer 0, 1. 
one zero one, and we are get the answer zero one, which uh, golden model provide the perfect answer, and we can see that uh, article did not provide the correct answer of some as provide one, but original answer is zero, and then comparison function tell us that the answer of your your uh, article is wrong and it provides me the answer is false. Um, now I can not go for manual checking every time to check the both the answers. Now you can see that it is false. I know that is, there is a problem in my article and you can that it is true. Sometimes it can be true. And if you are going to fix numbers testing, then you provide the answer is uh, input is 010 and 010. And you get the answer too. And you suppose that you think how it is correctly working. Not we must provide different answer till the every possibility we can cover. That's why it is the main uh, concept is that to take verification of every article. <clears throat> so in big number we cannot said that we can debug that there is any problem but in random numbers we provide every possibility so after that we can assume that how our article is working so in some cases it is true and in some cases it is false but uh, there is one other problem okay, say that we are now uh, we are testing on the loop of 10 times we generate 10 times random numbers and we can see in the terminal to display our message but it is not a good way uh, as our first in the second lecture video, I told we must load uh, the data that we are going to test. So for that, we use uh, we create the data frame to log our. As you can see, we use data frame to our log the data of our inputs and the results, and we create and then CSV. So for so for that, we are going to make another function that will help us to log our data and we will use the name of that function is score prop. Actually score code is used in the UVM uh, framework and scoreboard is the main component of the score code. So just simple understanding and basic level of concept, we use the score code to clear to be uh, in the next videos, uh, we will go for the implementation of best change page and uh, PyUVM in which we use scoreboard uh, every time. So for just starting understanding and basic concept, uh, I just creating this scoreboard function to clear what scoreboard do in the UVM framework. The scoreboard officially do uh, many things in which scoreboard the first task is to compare the results and second uh, <clears throat> log the data of the results is the main uh, working of the scoreboard here i am used to scoreboard to log our data of both golden model and rtl uh, data uh, data and also the uh, comparison status so here we log all the data. <laughs> As we use uh, previous uh, code in which uh, we define the data frame in which we uh, equal, we call df equal to pd dot data frame and we also call the library of pandas as pd that's why we use data frame uh, df pd dot data frame in which we store the input a in which the uh, rtl input i suggest to change the name uh, so it is right because uh, same inputs are going to the RTL and same to golden model. So we define input A and input B, input C. Here we can change the name of that is the RTL sum. 
and after that we also define the uh, Gordon model I write GM sub but now we want to in which we are storing input a here input b but we must to create the array in the last videos i also defined why we are going to uh, making the uh, arrays so last time we you can see we create three different arrays in which we store every time the data previously and we then we show in the csv if you need to understand why we create arrays for data frame, you can watch our previous videos in which you get the concept. So here we, I can also create the arrays. But here is uh, one thing different. Last time we created different arrays in the Coco TV decorator, uh, in which we define arrays in this. But now we are not going to make uh, make arrays in the Coco TV. Uh, decorator inside now we are going to making the arrays outside the decorator in which we are going to make this global uh, global means if i define input a a equal to i make this global how it is why that i need to use input a array so i can use anywhere I need uh, if I need to use input A array here, I can. In this, I can. In this, in this, all of the presbytes, I can use the input A array. If I create the uh, input A array here, so there's a problem. If I define this input A array here, so I can use this uh, array in here not in this function, not in this function, not in this function. Because you know that the Python is the interpreter language. Uh, it is good line by line. So if I declare input A here, so it will never uh, said uh, define that you are not defined input A. So for that, we need to make the, those arrays in global for now. And we know that we make to create three different arrays define three different input arrays and the second in or second array is input b and third one is seen. Now uh, we get uh, for input. Now we also need to define the output of RS for the RTL. So here we also define two different output. Arrays for RTL, in which our first is output sum, and second one is output C out. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, now we need to define define two different output arrays for golden model. So I can say 
जीएम सम एंड जीएम सी आउट हेयर वी आल्सो डिफाइन द एरे फॉर स्टेटस Get we uh, get it can uh, provide by the function for in comparison. So the status equal to now for the golden model, uh, where we provide the value in this. Now we comment those print. I don't need this because I going to create the data frame for all. the uh, answer so here i uh, comment the previous here yeah. i see uh, you can see there where i can get the answer of golden model here from the variable golden model sum and golden model c out and i declared the array of gm sum and gm c out so i define those as here in which i append every time um that answer that is provided by golden model that's why i create array in which i store golden model sum and for see out dot append and same for the golden model see out now we uh, so, uh, store the answer of golden model see out and uh, and for the input a b c in uh here we can have two different option that we can append from here also and we can append from here also so i prefer here because uh if uh, there is a chance of the user that it can change the function of random number that it did not want to uh, want the numbers that is provide that is provide to rtl and golden models that is random that is uh, the user want to provide the answer uh, that is fixed numbers and in different scenarios so every time that so that's why it is change so that's why i need to append the inputs uh, answers to here rather than here if i append the input values here so if the user change this function to the fixed number so our log data will not provide the answer of fixed number so that's why i append the i append to different input values here so first we know the our first array is input a input a dot append a and second is input b dot append b and third one is input c in dot append carry in carry in as you see that we define three different input values we don't know what is the that values it can be fixed it can be random any mm -hmm. so we append that uh, that values in the arrays so after that we can go for uh, csv and we can see that values in the data frame so uh, here we define golden model uh, and our input so our last thing is for rtl 
answers to load. Or did we go to same method? Here we use a brand. Some. And for output C out. Dot append. See out. Uh, Golden model output dot see out dot append. See out. Uh, after that, we can see okay, we define all the arrays and we append all the values of Gordon model, RTL, and different inputs. So, we uh, here we need to create the data frame. We know that we call the GM sum, but the uh, array for that is GM sum. Then we RTL C out and then our last is Gordon model C out. And for Gordon model, we use the array of GM C out. And after that, after we complete the uh, creating the data frame, we need to convert that data frame into CSV. So we use the same command that we use in previous uh, verification environment in the previous video lecture series. Uh, that is DF to CSV, that is convert data frame to CSV and that name is FACSV and it's called index false. So now we need to call that function in our decorator code that uh, is this the possibility that we call that function in this after that but there is a problem of uh, if i'm going to call this function in this uh, what is the problem is there in the last video uh, video i also discussed this problem because there is we uh, apply the whole loop condition in which uh, it run 10 times every command it run 10 times if i define the scoreboard here so scoreboard also uh, work 10 times and every 10 times it create 10 times data fair and then 10 times csv it will is it not consider uh, good programming uh, for that we need to define a scoreboard before the loop uh, because for that uh, you know we append all the values in array and array stores the, all the previous values and after that we, if I code the scoreboard the all the previous values and the current values will show up in the CSV and it is not uh, <coughs> create say, uh, CSV every 10 times because uh, in when we go for high level verification we will score 1000 10000 times iteration because we uh, we need to cover all the possibilities of uh, input instructions uh, and different in different values so if there is a test data i just suppose that it's run 1000 times so our csv it is created 1000 times so it takes so much time for uh, compiler to execute the test. We need to ensure that our verification environment is well to perform fast verification with their beneficial advantages and benefits. For that, we use code for out of the functions. And 
uh, in the starting, I told the score what is the UVM component and it is responsible to compare the result and log the result is the main uh, working principle of the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. So you can see that uh, comparison uh, working is not done by the scoreboard here. Uh, because there is a reason for that is if I comparison function is uh, define all the logic in the scoreboard, then the problem is same that our log uh, or data frame and CSV that is create thousand times. So that's why I separate both um, things uh, in different function and one ghost name is comparison and, and second goes for scoreboard. Now it's time to execute and see what will happen if we run. As you see, uh, our CSV has uh, created. Now we open that uh, CSV and check. Here you can see and there will be run our test 10 time and you can see that 10 time iteration has been done in which input A, input B, input C and are provided by our function that is render number generate and it goes same all the input in the RTL and into the uh, model and after that we get the answer 0, 0 uh, from RTL and from golden model and see out one one uh here you can see all the answers are not same and that rtl sum is one and golden model sum is zero and we here is we need must need to define the status uh, column two in which we can see the answer of true and false so uh, we go again here and first we also create the status array now we need to append that the result of comparison in the status and In else condition two, and I close for comment. Now we is good. Now uh, let's see the CSV file. Oh, there is some mistake in coding. I did not define the status in the data frame. That's why it does not show the column. Here we first name the status. Then we call that status array in this
Now let's check CSV again. Now you can see. You can see the status column here and it provides the answer false. Here you can see why it provides false because the RTL sum and the golden model sum uh, provide the RTL sum is provide the wrong answer according to the golden sum and that's why it provides the answer false. Because we use if condition in which we compare the RTL sum and the golden model sum and RTL C out to the golden model C out. So here you can see that there is some uh, instruction that provide the true answer of the RTL and the golden model. So it is how it is very helpful that we uh, we don't need to go for the manual checking. First we need to run the test and check that that is how many tests we have or failed by our RTL. And if there is any mistake, we can go for debug that uh, RTL. And then you can see and there is also possibility is there is a 1000 if I provide 100 tests mm -hmm. so you can not go for every time the manual testing to check in the terminal okay, which answer is provide me right in this you can see now it is two it is false mm -hmm. so it in the CSV in the data frame it provide all the uh, information that you need that what input goes in the RTL and in golden model and what operation does do our RTL and you can check then and when we run 100 times 100 times I don't think anyone can see in manual which answer is correct which answer is wrong so, uh, suppose if 100 will, will go and you can check but what will about 1000 times 10,000 times so it is easy way that we log the answer in the CSP and we can check that CSV very easily. Such as that is we are going to check our table form in which what will be the answer of the ladder in which you can see 100 are the inputs RTL provide the answer to and you can see how many there to but you can also easily find this if you click the status and click this auto filter and after that here, here you can uh, uncheck the two mark and okay it provide all the false answer of the that is provided that by our framework and you can see our first false answer is zero one and zero zero and you can see how many uh, tests are failed and then we don't say and if I go here and uncheck and I see oh there is a mistake, then I correct that mistake from on my RTL. Then after that, I rerun again the framework of OpenTV test bench. Now I want to see that if there is any uh, false test in that condition or not now i want to see the csv file after you can see that uh, we collect our rtl then you can see all the answer is true there is no any uh, answer that is false and you can search easily by clicking auto filter and check this and there is no option of false because there is no answer that is provided by a false so this is the best advantages of using logging in the scoreboard and with proper <coughs> programming syntax that will not uh, consume so much time to provide the answers and we create different functions uh, above the different above the decorator of Kuku TV. So this is our the our last video on the Kuku TV test bench framework that is depending on our phase one. And we uh, from the starting video, 
we also discuss discuss that we are going to implement first Kupu TP attachment framework. Uh, this is our uh, plan that we first need to understanding and implementation of Coco TV best verification placement that is done today. So inshallah, from the our next videos, we are going to understanding and implementation of who best verification. Uh, inshallah, we are going to uh, move to the other uh, more advanced level of verification. So I hope you guys understand the understanding and implementation of Poco TV based verification framework in which we provide many uh, many benefits uh, advantages of different things. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.